existing cannabis companies, but one company has managed to break through. They got the green light from NASDAQ, and it is Green Lane Distributors. They have been distributing vape products, and boy, did they have a great year last year. $178 million in revenue. Their IPO was upsized. They were going to price it at $14 to $16, ended up doing it at $17, and boy, did they have a great first day. Joining me now is the CEO and the CMO. So let's talk about this. How did you get NASDAQ to green light you? Well, the easiest way to describe it is that we don't touch the plant. So we're a distributor of premium ancillary cannabis and nicotine products, and of course, we comply with all of the laws. So one thing that I noticed when I was looking at your numbers is that you've got a real dependency right now on Juul. Juul's like 35% of your revenue. Um, what, are you, what are you doing to plan for the day or that, that could happen that Juul sales might you know, come down? So Juul obviously was a home run success of a product for us last year, uh, but we have a long history of bringing successful products to market. Just so happened last year was Juul, and we expect to continue to see strong growth out of Juul. But more broadly speaking, we're seeing growth across all sectors in our business. So, Aaron, when I looked at those numbers, I was a little surprised you had a net loss for last year. Why is that? What happened there? Those are largely attributable to gap expenses associated with conversion of profits interest, taking care of key members, members of the executive team, uh, interest expenses associated with the convertible note that we did late last year. But overall, we anticipate a taxable income for 2018. Oh, well, that's good news. So, Sasha, you guys are doing something a little different, too. Uh, you're actually helping companies out that come to you. How does that work? Yeah, we really try to work with our brands in a, a much deeper way than you typically expect from a distributor, uh, conventionally speaking. So, we work on product development, we develop bespoke go-to-market strategies, we help manage the product life cycle, talk about planned obsolescence, when to introduce the next product, and how to manage pricing strategies throughout that product life cycle pricing curve, demand curve, um, so that we're able to maintain margin integrity and pricing integrity as long as possible and help build sustainable demand for their brand and the product. Well, it seems like everyone and their brother is coming out with a new CBD product. Are you seeing a lot of like CBD vapes coming out? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's certainly a proliferation of CBD products across every SKU. Literally, it sounds like I'm joking, but last night I saw an advertisement for CBD blankets. Um, so I think we actually play a key role to our retailers in helping make sense of a complicated environment like CBD right now, where we can help determine what the best selling products, the best selling brands across each category and price segment are, and then help them merchandise a category offering that really addresses consumer needs. All right, so Aaron, what are the big plans for this year? The ongoing public at NASA. Yeah. So in addition to that, we're looking at M&A opportunities. We're looking to expand our geographical footprint. We're also looking to potentially acquire some of our suppliers like we did earlier this year, where we acquired a leading package supplier of ours called Collins Year. We're going to focus our energy and attention specifically in areas that don't compete with our core suppliers. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on such a successful IPO. That is Green Lane, and I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting with the Green Market Report.